Elam is the story of a young girl who is abducted about 15 to 16,000 years ago. And the story is really who abducted her and why. I've always believed that if there is such a thing as, as UFOs and, and if there are abductions, there's no reason to assume that they started only in the last 50 years, that they probably will have happened all through the time of humanity. What if somebody were abducted 15,000 years ago? What kind of society would evolve once they were on a planet of their own? Uh, the book takes place in present day on the planet Elam, where uh, human culture has evolved. The society on Elam is made up of 24 tribes. And these tribes are developing slower than, than normal uh, humanity. And this is because there is a control mechanism that is placed on them. There's no war, there's no real death. They, have a, they live in a perfect environment. But, um, it becomes obvious to them that um, they have been left there for all these years to evolve. And there are seven young people who are on a quest to find out the history of their people. So there are four, four females and three males that are to go meet the entity that abducted the original humans and they find out that there is a place called Earth and that they were abducted and that the course of what happens to in their selection and their judging will mean the ultimate fate of we back on Earth. The thing that I love about science fiction is, is the cultural aspect of it. It's not jumping in a spaceship and flying to a planet and, and killing a dragon. It's, it's the cultures that you meet there and why they're different. And I think that, that we are very curious about other cultures because as we understand cultures, other cultures, we understand ourselves better. It um, deals with love and hate and aliens and spaceships and uh, and what I like to think is the meaning of life. You know, why we're here, who put us here, uh, and what's the ultimate end of mankind.